In this video, I will show you how you can use comparative advantage to see how you gain from trade, where you should specialize in trade, and how this fares relative to a place where there's no trade. To show you that, let's assume the following example. Let's assume we have two people, Robinson Crusoe and Friday, that can choose of producing two goods. They can either gather coconuts or they can catch fish. And in terms of fish, let's assume it's salmon, so it starts with a different letter than Friday's name. Let's assume that, so we have Robinson Crusoe and Friday, and as we said, we have coconuts and we have salmon. Now, let's assume that Robinson Crusoe can gather coconuts at the speed of 15 minutes for one coconut. So every 15 minutes he can gather one coconut. At the same time, let's assume Friday is a little bit slower than that. They can only catch, gather one in 20 minutes. So Friday is slightly slower than Robinson Crusoe. For Salmon, Let's assume Robinson Crusoe is a bit faster. So every 10 minutes, he can catch a fish. Friday instead is a bit slower and only can get a fish or a salmon every 30 minutes. Okay, based on this table, we want now to figure out who should specialize in what. Do they gain from trade? Using comparative advantage. So if we're faced with a problem like that, we need to first see how much they can produce at a fixed interval. For this fixed interval, let's take a day, eight hours, normal work day. So let's see how much they can produce in one day. If we look at Robinson Crusoe with coconuts, he can gather four coconuts in one hour a day has eight hours, so in total, 32 per day. He's faster at catching fish. Doing the same exercise, he can catch six salmon per hour. There are eight hours, six times eight, 48 per day. Friday is a bit slower, he can only do two salmon per hour. Again, eight hours, so 16 per day. Last but not least, looking at coconuts, that's three coconuts an hour, eight hours a day, 24 coconuts per day. Okay, based on that, let's now draw a production possibility frontier. Okay, so We have two people, we have Robinson Crusoe, and we have Friday, and we have two goods, coconut and fish, or salmon. Okay, we start with Robinson Crusoe, and we want to look at what they can produce in one day. So he gets either 32 coconut, or 48 salmon. Hmm. Okay, now the question is, how do we get all the points in between? Well, let's assume he spends all day gathering coconut. Then he has 32. Let's assume he spends one hour less gathering coconut. That means he gets four less. He gets only 28 coconuts. At the same time, he gets six salmon. If he does that for another hour, he will lose another four coconut and gain another six salmon. So it's a linear relationship and we can just draw a straight line between those two. We can do the same thing for Friday and he can get 24 coconuts or 16 fish. Okay, now let's look at what the two could do if they're on their own. 
Let's assume they have the following preferences. Friday only likes fish. So if he's on his own, he will produce 16 units of salmon. In turn, let's assume Robinson Crusoe only likes coconuts. So he will produce 32 coconuts. Okay, now if you want to talk about trade, we need to look at who should specialize in what. Should they both produce the same thing or not? Now to find that out, we use the opportunity cost. Um, the easiest way to figure it out, who should produce what is, we need to figure out who has the lower opportunity cost in producing a certain good. Let's look at Robinson Crusoe producing coconut. For each coconut Robinson Crusoe produces, he gives up more than one salmon. Friday, in turn, for each coconut he produces, he gives up less than one salmon. This means the opportunity cost for Friday of producing coconuts is lower than Robinson Crusoe's, and so Friday should gather coconut. Robinson Crusoe, in turn, should catch salmon. We can do the same thing in reverse. Robinson Crusoe can catch one less salmon, he's giving up less than one coconut. Friday, in turn, if he catches one less fish, gives up more than one coconut. So Robinson Crusoe should specialize in salmon. Note that not always one is larger than one, the other one is less than one. It could be that both are larger than one. In that case, it is still, however, the case Whichever has the lower opportunity cost, that's the one that should specialize in it. So the opportunity cost here is three halves, which is strictly greater than two thirds. And so Friday should specialize in coconut, no matter if it's larger or less than one. Okay, let's think about this more. Let's assume they both specialize, okay? If Friday fully specializes, he produces 24 coconuts and gives them all to Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe produces only fish, 48 salmon, and gives all of them to Friday. Is that something that they should do? Well, let's look at it. Robinson Crusoe ends up with 24 coconuts. That is less than he had initially. At the same time, Friday used to have 16 salmon, now he has 48. He did a really good deal. However, Robinson Crusoe would say no to this deal. So because Robinson Crusoe actually produces way more than Friday, Robinson Crusoe cannot specialize completely. He needs to produce still some coconuts, otherwise he will be worse off. Friday, on the other hand, produces less overall, so he can completely specialize. So with trade, he'll produce 24 coconuts and gives all of them to Robinson Crusoe. Now let's assume Robinson Crusoe spends three hours gathering coconuts to ensure he gets more than 32 and spends the rest of the time catching fish. If he spends three hours gathering coconuts, he will gather four coconuts per hour, three times four, 12 coconuts. That leaves him with five hours out of the eight, and in these five hours he will catch fish, six fish per hour, so 30 fish in total, 30 salmon in total. If we now compare, Robinson Crusoe doesn't care about salmon, so he'll give all the salmon to Friday. Friday in Autarchy got 16 salmon, now he has 30. Robinson Crusoe will obtain all the coconuts Friday caught, so that's 24 
plus all the ones he gathered, that's 12. 24 plus 12 is 36, that's strictly more than the 32 he initially had. So now both want to trade. Now, as long as Robertson Crusoe gathers at least eight coconuts, he'll be better off than under Otaki. And if he catches at least 16 salmon, Friday will be at least as good off as in Otaki. Catching anything in between those two, that is the surplus from trade that can be allocated any way. How they do it, that depends on preferences and a lot of other things. But <clears throat> they will definitely gain from trade, or at least one party will gain from trade, the other one is not worse off. If these two were countries, one would say that Friday produces coconuts and exports them at the same time Robinson Crusoe produces some fish which he exports. He at the same time imports coconuts as does Friday import salmon. Thank you for watching.